Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger, Burning Dog fans. We're here in the Howling Grotto, and, uh... A few shards here I haven't collected. No! Oh, wait, I can... I could have fixed that, because I got that upgrade. Fuck! Why did I do that? I know that's three hit points. I fought a million of those guys. Oh, oh, oh. I can just keep... Every time... I can just keep turning it on and off. I didn't realize that. Satisfying with letting enemies a simple AI come to you, isn't there? Death to you! Still dealing with that stupid power seal behind all those goddamn pointy bits. Clearly, those are my nemesis. Not the Demon King, the fucking spikes. Oh, thank God. Huh. More of this- more of this pattern. What's up with this? I've seen a number of things like that, actually. Is that just, like, a stylistic choice? Or it's pillars of gaps in between them? What's up with that? So, when the key point came back to me, I thought that, uh, I had accidentally thrown the, uh, shuriken in such a way that it returned like a boomerang. No, 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 no! Oh, the bats are back. No, 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 I... Not lucky. Fuck! Oh, come on! Thank you! Wingsuit. Press and hold A while airborne to deploy and glide. Oh. Second wind. Press A while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. If that's what I assume it is, then, uh, when I get hit and in midair and I go flying backwards and land on my ass, I can press A to get out of the uncontrolled fall before I fall to my death, like I did earlier today. When I got hit by a fireball and... What? Oh. Delicious! Fuck! Fuck. Oh. But, but, what was up? I didn't go up. Oh, right. Hmm. Urine. Oh, 
Nice. Ah, god damn it. Come on, no one has reflexes that good. No. Like that. Certainly realized at the last possible second. That fall right there. So tell me about the boss after I mess in your cabinet. Someday. Level boss. Well, I hope you're up for a challenge. God damn it. Why? Because something big is up next. What? Or what? Well, it's to say you're about to fight someone who understands that the best defense is a good defense. I got you. The best defense is a good defense. Who? I wish I could tell you. Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. Since when is there a three question rule? That's four now. Oh. Yeah, okay. Devils do. Reduce corbels fine for saving your life by 50%. I mean, it does seem kind of shitty to do this to him. But, uh... The guide was, apparently, threatening to rub it in periodically, so, uh... All's fair in death and war. I don't know. Yes, good. I think he's gonna say something about that next time, too. This game is very clever. Nothing in here about that. Oh no. Oh god. I can't move, for the record. Ah! No. Hey, that's cool. Oh, I see. It's a fucking ghost in a, uh... Ugh. God damn it. That was not cool. Ugh. I don't know how to do that without actually taking damage. I really don't. Alright, and I don't feel as bad anymore. Hey, I'll be visiting the shopkeeper later. Should I grab something to reduce spikes damage for you? Bye, Quarble. Is it really going to do this every time? Fucking! Right, that part. Fuck! Well, I'm already screwed. Nope, screw- Not this time. Nope, I'm up here. First paycheck always feels good, but at this point I mostly see the work. Oh, 
wonder if I could overcome you if I had taken that stupid power seal earlier. And filled my body with confidence! I came out weird. Seven. Lucky number seven. I guess that's the trick. If I'm standing in exactly the right spot, I don't just get hit the instant he does that. Oh god, why? Oh right. I can never tell when he's about to do the one that lingers over me for some reason. Ah! Oh, that one, okay. That was, uh, unpleasant. No! Ah, oh, shit! I couldn't have gotten out of that one. Fuck! What do Sparks and Quarble both have in common? We both have your back! <laughs> Great. say, I picked the perfect time for that specific upgrade. I mean, I'm not actually paying him anything at this point, because he just keeps running away as soon as he sees the giant monster open its mouth, but, uh... I'm just saying, thematically, goddamn. Literally embarrassing. That one was not a spike, at least. That was a fireball. You know, I wasn't sure about this either. They said I was better than the outdated lives and continues system. I mean, he's not wrong there. I did have the thought while I was going over the footage from the first session. Man, I'm glad I don't have limited lives in this fucking game. Because I was telling myself, you know, this is a, a, a game styled after an era I didn't enjoy very much. 
This is finally the chance to prove that I can cut it in the old unforgiving systems. But I don't know that I could do that with the old school lives and continues systems. Which I will remind anyone listening, were only implemented in video games in the first place because uh, game developers are so used to including them by necessity in arcade games where one life equals one coin. I'll cut your fingers off! Actually, it looks like someone already did. Ah, oh, why did I do that? I knew that wasn't going to work. Why did I do that? Fuck! Stupid emerald golem! What is it with giant golems and kicking the shit out of me repeatedly? made it anyway. Admit it, you did that just because you wanted to see me. Okay, I admit it, he's growing back on me again. Let's call it a truce. So it's like I said before, I would bet money there's an achievement beating this game without, uh, you know, meeting Quarble. But I really like that if you go back at the very beginning of the first episode, or you just look at the thumbnail I used for the first episode, which turned out to be the same image, you'll see that in the official, like, box art, uh, picture, uh, Quarble is hanging just behind the messenger. So, uh, yeah, canonically, he's my little buddy. Who saves my life when I die all the time. I didn't think that would work, but it did, somehow. Fuck you! Ah, oh, I didn't make that. Damn it! I thought I could get it. No! I, I activated the thing right after I jumped, so I had no height on that, you see. In case you were confused about that! No! No! Oh. Right, that one. Fuck! Fuck! I hate that guy. Zigni should have zagged. Absolutely! This guy might make fun of me on the regular, but this guy gets it! He's Guy Den's guy! What do you do with all the shards, anyway? Must you always start on the side I don't enter the room from? Right, yeah, that shit. Fucking... I'm doing terribly, I haven't even hit him yet. I got a couple hits in, and that's important. Last shuriken. Uh. Uh. 
up. No. I don't know this pattern! If I don't kill him now, I'm dead. I'm just saying. Ah! Like, thanks for destroying my golem. Oh, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I've been digging through these caverns for centuries, and you just randomly engaged. No way. Way! No way. You know what? Fair enough. I see you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your golem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh, I'll adjust the wind for you. Good luck on your quest. Achievement unlocked my bad. And it's for some reason hand-making the metal symbol. Oh, no, no, that was the first thing. That's like the call me symbol. What? Defeat the Emerald Golem! Huh. I got the name in one. can leave using the wind tunnel. Again, I don't mind our misunderstanding. He seems, still seems unhappy. No! Closure Marsh. Well, we're in a lovely new area. I've made someone very sad, and the timer has gone, so this is the perfect time to call it an episode. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play The Messenger, when I try to get through without ruining anyone else's day. Unless they deserve it. Later!